Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 12th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to continue our discussion on uh, numbers and we're going to check out uh, some more numeric functions. So I have a file opened up in my text editor. It's called numbers3.php and the title of the document is numeric functions part 3 and uh, then I have some PHP code between the opening and closing PHP tags on lines 6 and 14 respectively. So I have created a numeric variable here and it's called myNum and I've given it it the value 15.6859 and it's a fractional value so the data type of this uh, variable is double so numbers can have uh, integer data type you know numbers which are uh, uh, whole number values you know th those values have uh, integer data types and then you have fractional values and uh, the data type of fractional values could be float or double and uh, I have some functions uh, you know the first one is round on line number 8 and this function rounds off the uh, value that's passed to it as the first argument to the number of decimal places that are supplied as the second argument. So you want to round, round off the value in the variable minum to two decimal places. You'd first type in minum as the first argument, put a comma and then type in two as the second argument. So let's check out the output of this uh, file. I'll look for numbers 3.php. And when I press the enter key, I see now 15.66. So just two numbers, two digits after the decimal point. And that's because I have two here. So if I would replace this with three and uh, refresh, I would now see three digits, you know, six, five, nine. And it rounds off, right? So uh, to round it off to two digits, what it did was it looked for 15.65 and it looked for the next digit after five. And since eight is greater than five, it rounded off 0 0.65 to 0 0.66, right? I'll save the file and uh, refresh it in the browser to get 15.66 here. And that's how it rounds off. And uh, the next function that I've used uh, is seal. That's a uh, short form for sealing on line number nine. And this function tells you the, uh, you know, uh, next higher integer. So 15.6589 is a fractional value between 15.0 and 16.0. So if you would use a ceiling function on the variable minum, it's going to return 16 to you. And th that's what we get. 16 is returned as the output. And uh, the next function that we have is uh, called floor. And this is the opposite of ceiling. So, you know, the, flo the function floor is going to return the next uh, lowest integer so 15.6589 is again between 15.0 and 16.0 so it's going to return 15 to us right and uh, we can check that in the output we see 15 and the next three functions are actually tests of data types of variables right so the first function that we're going to check out is uh, on line number 11 it's called is underscore int short form for is underscore integer and this one is actually going to ask PHP the question that is the value that's stored in the variable minum an integer or not? And if it is an integer, then it's going to return one to us. If it's not an integer, then it's not going to return anything. We're going to get blank value, right? And uh, on line number 12, I have uh, another function which is similar to is in, but this one's going to ask whether the number is a float value or not, right? So uh, the name of the function is is underscore float and again it works in the same way so if the answer to this question is yes it's going to return one to us and if the answer is no it's going to return nothing and then finally I have a function called is underscore numeric which is just going to check whether the value in the variable minum is a number or not it could be an integer or a float but is it a number if it is then it's going to return one and if it's not it's going to return zero so now let's check out the last three uh, lines of output in the browser so we have uh, nothing as uh, a result of the is underscore int function and that's because the value in the variable minum is not an integer value and then we have one for is underscore float and one for is underscore numeric because the number is indeed a float value and it's also a number so that's why we see one and one here and nothing here and if I would change this value to uh, just 15 save and uh, refresh the file the output for is underscore int function is now going to be one and the output for is underscore float function is going to be nothing right so that's how uh, those two functions work and is underscore numeric is still going to return one to us because 15 is still a number right 
So that's it for this tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're going to check out more features of PHP. And uh, thank you for watching this one. You may subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care.